Hello, bonjour and ahoy. It's been an unbelievable first two days of debate, discussion, and exchange. On Friday evening, Globesec hosted a benefit concert for Ukraine at the Bratislava Castle that featured two Ukrainian performers followed by a networking cocktail. But there's still more to come. Here are the highlights from day three. We got underway with a spirited and critical conversation about the current times of crisis facing the media and journalists, as well as the potential solutions to deliver access to information in increasingly closed societies. With the Czech EU presidency set to get underway next month, Ivan Bartos, Deputy Prime Minister for Digitalization and Minister for Regional Development, outlined the policy priorities of his country, while Ukraine's Head of Digital Service Development talked digitalization under war conditions. Looking to the future, a variety of high-level experts and financial institutions offered multiple visions for the reconstruction of Ukraine as well as the short and long-term priorities. On the subject of health, voices from the public and private sector addressed ways to improve public healthcare systems. At lunchtime, the Globesec Policy Institute's Center for Democracy and Resilience presented the research findings of their long-anticipated Globesec Trends Report. The spectrum of China's influence and future cooperation with Ukraine yielded some fascinating outcomes where long-held policy norms were challenged on where the West could cooperate with Beijing. On the Maria Theresia stage, a lively debate focusing on the heavy return of great power politics took place, where speakers from academia and the think tank world looked for answers on the implications vis-a-vis -vis Russia's invasion of Ukraine on the global legal order. The conference was ended with closing remarks by Globesec President Robert Vosch. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. It's been an exhilarating three days of debate and discussion, but from the 2022 Globesec Bratislava Forum, that's it. But don't worry, we're already working on our 18th edition. Stay tuned and see you next year. Ciao.